In this video, we are going to look at some formulas related to spheres and hemispheres. Well, these two pictures you are seeing on the screen are spheres, by the way. The earth is a sphere, a cricket ball, a football, anything that's a ball is a sphere. Right, so let's look at these formulas. So firstly, we'll look at the formulas for sphere and then we will look at the formulas for hemisphere. So the sphere has a radius of r units. Similarly, this hemisphere also has a radius of r units. Let us look at the formulas for a sphere. So the volume of a sphere is equals to 4 by 3 pi r cube. Well, we are not going to derive this formula because it is out of scope of this course and it will take a lot of time by the way to explain it in this video. So anyways, the volume is 4 by 3 pi r cube and the surface area will be equals to 4 pi r square. Actually, the surface area is 4 times the area of the circle formed by cutting the sphere, right? So volume and surface area, we have these two formulas. Now we have three formulas for a hemisphere. A hemisphere is actually the half of a sphere. So the volume will naturally be the half of the volume of a full sphere, right? So we can write volume as 4 by 3 pi r cube divided by 2 and that will be 2 by 3 pi r cube. Now a hemisphere has a curved surface and a flat surface, right? Now what will be the area of this curved surface? Well, it will be half of the total surface area of the complete sphere. And that will be 4 pi r square by 2. And that's 2 pi r square. Okay, so now we have total surface area. Well, total surface area will be the curved surface area plus the surface area of this base. What will be the area of this base? Well, it's just a circle. So this is pi r square, its area. So total surface area is 2 pi r square plus pi r square and that's 3 pi r square. Let us solve some questions now. What is the volume of a ball of radius 7 centimeters? We have also been asked to calculate its surface area. Well, we've been given the radius and that's 7 centimeter. Now volume of a sphere is equals to 4 by 3 pi r cube, right? So this is equals to 4 by 3 times pi is 22 by 7 times r cube. That's 7 times 7 times 7, isn't it? 7 and 7 gets cancelled. What we have is 4 times 22 is 88 times 7 times 7 is 49 by 3. And 88 times 49 is 4312 and this is divided by 3. When it is divided by 3, you will get approximately 1437.33. Okay, so this is the volume of this ball and the unit will be in centimeter cube or cubic centimeters, right? Now we have also been asked the surface area. So surface area is equals to 4 times pi r square. Right, so 4 times 22 by 7 times 7 times 7. One of the 7 get cancelled out. We have 88 times 7. And 88 times 7 will give you 616 centimeter square. So that's the surface area. Right, just you should know the formulas. Just put in the data and get the answers. We have another question now. A bowl has a radius of 21 centimeters. What volume of water will it contain? And what is the total surface area when the lid of this bowl is closed? A bowl is basically a hemisphere, right? Now we have to calculate what is the volume of this hemisphere. And we've been given the radius that's 21. So volume of this hemisphere is equal to 2 thirds of pi r cube. And that will be 2 by 3 times 22 by 7 times 21 times 21 times 21, isn't it? So 7 times 3 is 21, this 3 and 3, this 3 goes out. We have 2 times 22, that is 44 times 21 times 21, and that is 441. And which when multiplied 
by 44 will give you 19404 that is 19404 cubic centimeter so this much of water this bowl will contain now we have been asked what is the total surface area when the lid of this bowl is closed so the total surface area will be the curved surface area plus the area of the lid that means the total surface area of the hemisphere isn't it so the total surface area will be equals to 3 pi r square that's the formula so put in the values so we have 3 into 22 by 7 times 21 times 21 again 7 times 3 is 21 we have 3 3 is a 9 times 21 times 22 okay and this when solved will give you 4158 square centimeter easy right